Welcome to the Loan Analytics Economic Capital Analysis video training. During this video, you will learn how to use the Economic Capital application to define, calculate, and trend your economic capital requirements. We will now go to the application. Open the application, enter the report name, your financial institution, the scenario. We will be importing the June 30, 2013 data extract, so we enter portfolio as of June 30, 2013. You would enter your permanent capital, allowance for loss, and risk-adjusted assets as of June 30, 2013. Click Setup, Default, enter the probability of default percents for the PD ratings, and enter the standard deviation of the defaults. The probability of defaults and the standard deviation for 12, 13, and 14 should be the same as 11. Enter the loss given defaults for the LGD ratings. Enter the minimum exposure. Enter the percent of unfunded commitment to be included in the analysis. Select the loss percentile. Select the portfolio segmentation. Select the speed precision. Enter the market risk capital in basis points of exposure. And enter the operational risk capital in basis points of exposure. Click Main. We're now going to import the June 30th, 2013 data extract. Click Import. Do you want to calculate loan RAYROC? Yes. Do you want to calculate customer level economic capital? Yes. Select the extract to import. Double click. After the extract is imported, click capital stress. We now want to apply cycle migration PD stress. We're going to use cycle migration number five. Apply. Click apply PD cycle migration. We're going to select Cycle Migration 5 for LGD. Click Apply LGD Cycle Migration. Click Main and then click Refresh. Do you want to recalculate RAYROC? No. Do you want to recalculate Customer Level Economic Capital? No. Do you want to include in the trend? No. Click Results. Calculated economic capital is 89,300,000. Permanent capital, 102,700,000. We have a $13 million margin. We can still dial the portfolio down to where the economic capital closely equals the permanent capital. Click Main, Capital Stress. We're going to change the cycle migration from 5 to a 6. Click Apply. We're moving the portfolio down, click Main, and then we're going to refresh the data again. Click Refresh, say No, No, and No. We refresh the data, we'll click Results, and we can see that the calculated economic capital is around 102 million, permanent capital 102 million. We're going to click Main. And now we're going to go to the trend screen and we're going to delete this period out. And we're going to re-import. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this as our baseline. So our June 30th portfolio, the economic capital will be our baseline. We'll say yes. And then we'll click import. And we'll say yes, yes. And then we'll bring in that June 30th data extract. So we set our June 30th, 2013 um, data extract period as our baseline going forward. So we're going to adjust the economic capital back to that June 30th um, baseline going forward. We're now going to bring in the 930, 2013 data extract. We'll change the scenario to 930. And then we need to enter the permanent capital as of 930. The allowance and the risk-adjusted assets. We'll say apply baseline, 
yes. Click import. Do you want to calculate RARAC? Yes. Do you want to calculate custom level economic capital? Yes. And we'll import the 930-2013 data extract. On the main screen, it'll summarize previous will be the June 30th information. The current is the September 30th information. We can see the capital, the capital percentage, allowance, allowance percentage. And we also can calculate and see the risk adjusted return on capital as of June and as of September 30th. I click on results. You can see the economic capital as of September 30th is $103 million. Permanent capital is 104. We still have a positive margin comparing the economic capital to permanent capital. Permanent capital is greater than economic capital. I'm going to click credit risk. It will summarize the credit risk capital. At the top up here, we have expected losses summarizing the allowance for loan loss and then unexpected credit risk losses. We can see as we go further out in the, the tail of the loss curve, the required economic capital goes up. I'm going to click Allowance. It will summarize the allowance for loss by the selected segmentation, um, allowance by the different segments, percent of allowance, exposure, percent of exposure by these segments, and then to the far right, it's allowance requirements per $1 of exposure. Click Capital. It will summarize the capital by the selected segment, which is industries, total capital by industry, percent capital, the percent exposure by industries, and then we have the capital or economic capital per $1 exposure. We can compare the risk, which is the capital requirements, to the return. We have the risk-adjusted return on capital by the different segments. I'm going to click Main. We're going to trend. I'm going to click the trend button next to June 30th and next to September 30th and click historical and we can view the summary information. We have the capital as of June 30th and of September 30th. We can see the change in the capital and we can also see the change in the allowance from period to period. You can print this off. You can create an extract open another workbook, copy this information to another Excel workbook. I'm going to click Main. Thank you for joining us today for this economic capital analysis video. Please email me if you have any questions. Thank you so much.